Good day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today we're having a quick look at the Rootless Pixel Launcher. Love this, been waiting for this for a while, especially for the S8 Plus, I mean I hate Bixby, I think it's a pain in the backside, there's plenty of lag going on. This doesn't remove the lag, but it removes Bixby when I swipe to the left, so happy days. So the first thing we're going to do is download the APK for the Pixel Launcher. Now I've done this on my desktop which you can see here in this video and so you just download it into your downloads folder if this is the way you want to do it and then you would just copy it over onto your phone or you can just download it straight to your phone from uh, the website itself. So I've already saved it here as a bookmark here. There'll be a link down below that'll take you straight to it whether you're on desktop or mobile won't matter. So here you can see download rootless pixel launcher brings Pixel 2 Launcher and other features and adds a Google Feed panel. This is from XDA. Big shout out to the guys at XDA. Been doing great work for years. Love it to bits. So we're just going to scroll down. So it's got here, it's got some features. Uh, what you can do with it. Round icons, icon packs with calendar icons, app filter, blah, blah, blah. But just keep scrolling down and it says, Download Rootless Pixel Launcher. 3.0. So there we go, I just press download. Downloading. Now it's really important as well that you give yourself permission to install this because it's not from the App Store, it's an APK, so you'd actually have to give your phone permission and say yes I agree to the risks and then download it and install it that way. So if we have a quick look here. Launcher 3 AOSP debug.apk that's the file that we're downloading. Now I'm just going to go back out of there and I'm going to go into my settings. And this is where I'm going to show you how to uh, give permissions to install this APK. So you go to your settings, lock screen and security. Scroll down until you see where it says unknown sources. Allow the installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store or Galaxy apps. And you're going to tick yes. So that box there has to be blue. Hope you can see that. Okay, then we're going to go back out of here to where it's downloaded. And here you can see Launcher 3 AOSP debug.apk. Nice and clear. And we're going to hit yes, install. Done. Now I'm going to go into my applications. So settings, apps, then here, then default apps, home screen. Pixel Launcher, press the button, and there we have Pixel Launcher. So you've got your Google search down the bottom here. Swipe to the left, there's your Google feed. Swipe up, and there's your app drawer for Google. Love this, think it's great. You know, it, there's a little bit more to it, like if I hold down on the home screen, you've got your home screen settings, so notification dots on, at a glance at the top of your home screen, display Google app to the left of your main home screen, display app suggestions, allow home screen rotation, yes, icon pack, use system default. So there you go, there it is, nice and simple, nice and quick video, there's my Google feed. My next daily driver is going to be a Pixel phone. I love the camera and the video quality of the S8 Plus. But I am just I just have to go to the Pixel Launcher because I'm sick of the lag that comes with Samsung. I'll probably still get the S9 when it comes out, but I can tell you I'll be getting the Pixel phone or Motorola, maybe Nokia, depending on what they come out with this year. But anyway, there's my video, how to install Rootless Pixel Launcher 3.0 on any phone. It's a treat. Get amongst it, enjoy it, and happy days. Thanks for watching my video.